The Richmond considers the Round Church as sort of a treasure, I think. People look at it uh, as something special. The church is our symbol, is our what our town is really known for. When people think of Richmond, they think of the Round Church. The town of Richmond is very proud of this building. It's a, a unique building. There's not another one like it. I love history, and, and this, this church just reeks of history. The church was built, this was started in 1812, and when Richmond was formed in 1794, at that time there already were church people here, but they didn't have any building. So they got together and wanted to have a meeting house where they could worship. And also the town needed a meeting house where they could have town meetings. So the church people became the proprietors. The town meeting in 1796, they appointed a committee to find a place to set a meeting house. And that committee itself couldn't agree as to the right place. They would disagree for several years. So it took 16 years before they decided where to put it. They raised the money to build the church by selling pews. And they did that before the church existed. The church was built by William Rhodes, who was the head carpenter. He was paid $3,000 for doing that. He had written his parents that he had contracted to build a meeting house in Richmond for $3,000 and he wasn't sure he could do it, but he said, nothing ventured, nothing have. It didn't take too long to build because by November of that year, November 1812, they uh, had raised the frame of the church, or they, it was originally called the Richmond Meeting House. It's not really round, it's 16-sided, and there are stories about why it's this shape. One is to keep the enemy from hiding behind the corner outdoors, and another is that it would keep the devil out of the corner. Another legend is that 16 men build a, each build a side and the 17th added the belfry, but we have a worksheet of William Rhodes and it shows more than 17 people working on the church. It was built by volunteers. I think a good educated guess is that when William Rhodes was building the church, his parents lived in Claremont, New Hampshire. And in Claremont, New Hampshire at that time, there was a meeting house that had an octagonal addition, which was very similar looking to this um, round meeting house. We have program and news items about the centennial, which was in 1913. They had a three-day celebration, and they had a ball game, and they had many parades, and different people spoke, and there, were, there was poetry read, original poetry about the Rand Church. My grandmother always had the key so that somebody could come in. And all us kids would run when somebody'd stop, a car would stop out front, we'd all go to see who would get asked to get the key, or if they could get in, and then we could say, yeah, we can go get the key for you. And one of us would run and we'd get a quarter. Once in a while, you'd get a dollar. So we used to have all our, our town meetings here, always oh, colder than a son of a gun. And they'd let us kids get out of school to come to town meeting. And then no matter how cold it was, we all came. This was the heat, and there used to be two of these, one here and another one up in the front. And if you see the hooks that are on the wall right over there, that's where the pipes ran and then went up through the roof. What's amazing to me is last year, we had all 50 states and 24 foreign countries. 
I've started this year already and we still have got the fall foliage season going and I'm at 46 states and I'm at 23 foreign countries that have been to the Round Church. In the early 70s, the fire marshal did a, an inspection of the Round Church uh, and found that there were some structural problems that the belfry uh, would probably come through the ceiling because the timbers in the ceiling were, uh, the rafters were so rotten. So the church was closed and the historical society was formed. I think its initial purpose was to work toward the restoration of the church. And the uh, town gave the historical society a 40-year deed, um, giving the, the church to the historical society. We have what it's called a pilgrimage. Once a year, it's a church service. And that was started in 1925 by the Congregationalists and Universalists. So in 1925, they had a, a church service and they had speakers and it was very well attended. So they decided to have a pilgrimage every year It was a long road through disagreement and indecision about where Richmond would build a meeting house. But once a parcel of land was given, things began to come together. And it was actually members of five denominations who stepped forward and signed up together in order that a place of worship might be built in this community. I think that's at least as unique as the style of building that was finally erected. But here in this town, five Baptists, two Methodists, six Christian, 23 Universalists, and 29 Congregationalists signed on the dotted line and together contributed $3,079.86 toward the construction of this meeting house. Considering how often the church has been the source of separation and division, I marvel at that openness. And I don't know if it was the fresh mountain air or something in the water, but I celebrate the ways in which our ancestors were willing to come together to create what none of them could have done alone. Its beginnings as a church that served five different congregations. It was ecumenical before that was a, a trendy word. So the Round Church is a symbol of the community. You know, it's the town logo. When you drive into town, it says, Welcome to Richmond, the home of the Round Church. But it's really, um, it is a living part of the community too. It, it, it is a place, an actual real place that people come and they get married or they come to the carol sing or the 4th of July and it becomes part of their lives individually and collectively. My favorite times are uh, the Christmas carol sing and the 4th of July parade. I really feel that the church is fulfilling its original function of being a community gathering place at those times. Let me 